finders keepers. Hello, folks. <clears throat> Welcome back to Hot Channel. This is your friendly neighborhood, Goosebumps Boy. And today, I have another Goosebumps book review for you. And this time, we'll be doing number 47, Legend of the Lost Legend. Finally, we're getting to number 47. So we're pretty close to ending the series. And uh, hopefully, we'll be able to do it before the end of the year, God willing. But this time, we're going to be dealing with number 47. And uh, this one is Legend of the Lost Legend. So basically, the front cover is very, I would say, unconventional when it comes to Goosebumps. Even though Tim Jacobus did an awesome job at it, as he usually does. In all of the, Goose, in all the Goosebumps series, he's been uh, illustrating. Uh, but this time, he illustrated Legend of the Lost Legend in a way that is kind of... Um, uncommon for Goosebumps. Basically, you have trees and uh, there's snow pretty much all over the place. You have the grass that is kind of poking out from the snow from the ground here and there. And basically, you have this big chest, this case, and uh, this big chest is, uh, is uh, there's someone standing on top of it. Actually, not standing, but somebody's resting their, their foot on it and uh, basically it appears to be a woman um who's kind of a chubby woman <laughs> my apology if uh that sounds a little uh, mean but it's just a picture so i'm not i'm not criticizing anyone but my apology still but basically that person is uh she has big basically long long blonde hair um, yeah, long blonde hair, and basically some kind of a helmet with horns on top, and uh, a funny kind of brownish uh, sort of uh, attire with boots, or what looks like boots, but we're not really sure. And basically, they're standing there, there and she's just uh, crossing her arms over her chest, and it looks really like... She looks really mean, right? There's that that look in her eyes that doesn't look really that doesn't look really nice and uh, welcoming. It sounds her green eyes. They sound like they they look like they're gonna. They it looks like she's really angry and she's gonna do something bad. And basically, all around is pretty dark, right? The blue, the dark blue sky. There's some fog that is kind of. Uh, around the trees, and basically some pink, um, the, the sky near the, the grass is mostly pink, so, so it's probably just, uh, the day is about to, the sun is about to set, or the sun is setting, and basically darkness is spreading all over, it's getting, uh, it's, uh, nighttime now, something like this, and basically, yes, this is, uh, this is the main, um, um, a book cover. Sorry about that. And uh, basically, uh, the brownish, the brown, uh, the color brown is uh, a recurring um, thing in this cover, a recurring pattern, as uh, the title of Goosebumps is in brown. And uh, same thing as uh, the, um, the woman's clothes, right? Her clothes. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, really. Nice cover from uh, Tim Jacobus again. So what is the story about? So basically, it's it it has our main character Justin Clark and his sister Maris, Marisa Marissa, and basically, they are they are they're going with their father on some kind of an adventure. It's like an adventure kind of story, and basically, yeah, they're going to somewhere I believe somewhere in Europe, if I'm not mistaken, in uh. In uh, Brovania, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but basically, yeah, their father, their father is a famous um, writer and a and a story collector, according to the Goosebumps uh, website that I like to quote from. Basically, yeah, he's he's a story collector, and they're going there, and uh, basically, what happens is that. 
they're on, uh, on some kind of an adventure, on some kind of a trip. And uh, it's not just any trip, as they're going to be looking for something. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. Um, yeah, it's the Lost Legend, obviously, from the title, Legend of the Lost Legend. And basically, they're looking for the Lost Legend, which is uh, known to have some kind of, uh, there's something kind of, um, mystical about it, mystical about it, if I'm not mistaken, or I, I'm not sure what mystical means. <laughs> it just sounded kind of fun to say, but I, I think, it, I, I believe it's some kind of a, a powerful thing, and basically it's been looked for by a lot of people, and uh, people cannot find it, I believe, hence the title, Lost Legend, uh, but maybe I'm gonna Maybe I messed up a few things here and there, so I'm gonna try to get my fact get my facts straight from reading from the plot. But basically, yeah, they're they're there, and uh, what happens is that um, their father loves to tell stories, right? And uh, basically, they're gonna stumble in uh, into the uh, Brabania, uh, which is a small European country, European country, according to the Goosebumps website. And basically, they're going to be looking for the Lost Legend because the Lost Legend is said to be, I'm going to quote from uh, the website right now, the father is searching for the Lost Legend, an incredibly rare and valuable document said to have been lost in Bravania and locked in a silver chest, right? So that explains what is in the front cover. The trio go to, their, to, the trio go to sleep in their tents. But Justin and Marisa are awoken by an animal howl. They go outside and find a large dog. The dog scholar has a note attached, which explains that the dog's name is Silver Dog, and they should follow him. All right, so there's going to be a dog that's going to kind of come. They're going to run. They're going to come across this dog. It's kind of like I don't remember what it looks like, but it's mostly white, if I'm not mistaken. And basically, they're going to be following the dog. And the dog is going to get them. Uh, basically, the dog is going to lead them to some kind of a, a small cabin. Some kind of a small cabin that is in the middle of the woods. In the middle of a, of a clearing, actually. from uh, As I'm quoting from the website. Which is pretty much like those kinds of Hansel and Gretel kind of... Um, kind of stories where you have that house that is kind of... That house that is kind of lost in the middle of the woods, like in the middle of a clearing, in the middle of a clearing. So it's basically like this, right? It's more like a a fairy tale in a way. But basically inside, they're going to meet uh, that woman named um, Ev uh, Ivana. Ivana. Ivana, I believe it's pronounced. I-V-A-N-N-A. I-V-A-N-N-A. So basically, that's, this is pretty much how it goes. And uh, what happens is that uh, once they're they're going to find out, um, they're going to find out about what is really going on and how they, what they should do. And then they're going to be, I don't want to spoil the book too much or anything, but I don't want to spoil the book too much or anything, but I have to let you know that my main children are going to be kind of like, in, in in the forefront of the story, at the forefront of the story, and they're gonna go and they and they're gonna go through some adventures of their own, and uh, all these event all all these adventures are gonna make them uh you know they're gonna go through some dangerous things, and uh, it's all gonna be so that I believe it it will it will be a way for them to retrieve uh this lost legend if i'm not mistaken so they're gonna go through a lot of ordeals a lot of tests and uh, so on and so forth and that's basically it and uh and basically this is uh pretty much the core of the story i don't want to spoil the book too much so i'm gonna stop it stop there and uh yeah i'm not i'm not gonna say anything more about it except for my thoughts on this book. So Legend of the Lost Legend is a pretty good book. It's not really a scary kind of story where you have a ghost or a some other scary monster that is in the book. 
in the book. Uh, it's this one is more like a a novel that is that that plays more on the adventure side, on the fairy tale side a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much how the story goes. It's not really about a scary monster, you know, monster kind of story. No, this one is more like a fun kind of adventure that anybody can relate to, and uh, especially younger readers. So if you haven't read any Goosebumps book, I definitely recommend you maybe, and you don't like scary stories uh, yet, you could start off with this one. As this one is not completely scary, but it has some scary scenes, actually. Um, like, once you get in, in the book, in the book, you know, um, once you dive in and you, you fall in, you're going to find out, you're going to find out that it, it does get um, pretty, pretty scary at a, at some point, right? So, Legend of the Lost Legend, what did I think about it? I believe Legend of the Lost Legend is such a good book. I really enjoy reading it. I believe it's it's people's favorites. It's, it's people's favorite as as kids, and I totally understand why. This one was good. It was so much fun to read. Uh, you had to read this book as I read it about two years ago, about two years ago, three years ago actually, more like three years ago. I really liked it. I really enjoyed how. The whole story plays out and what happens and uh, what the characters do. The characters, uh, J Justin and Marisa, are really relatable. They're really good characters. And they make the story, they made the story really good. So I really enjoyed this book for what it was. I did enjoy pretty much everything about it. And uh, everything that happens, how the book plays out, up to the final twist, which is really... <laughs> Which is really funny in a way, and at the same time, kind of scary. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it, it it will definitely send anybody, send send chills down anybody's back. It will send a, a, a any. It will send a chill down. It will it will send chills behind your back. It, once you get to the final sentence, the final words. <laughs> that was pretty. Wow, that was that was big. That that was scary, man. That was yeah, that was creepy. Uh, uh, but um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this book. I believe it was pretty good, and that, and like I mentioned, uh, the change the change of scenery in this book, it it takes place mainly in the forests, mainly at night, if I'm not mistaken, but also during the daytime. During the daytime or at night, but in a totally different location. This time we in uh, in uh, we lost in the woods. We lost in the woods of Europe in Europe, <laughs> which is which is good. I appreciate the fact that I appreciate the fact that Stein that Stein tries to, you know, not just stick to one location, but takes us you know all around the the. All around the globe, really. All around the globe. All around the planet. All around. I like that. And I believe that most of you will enjoy it, too. So I, I think that's... I believe that's pretty much it. So maybe we should get on uh, with the rating. With the rating. Without further ado. So if I were to give this book a rating, I think I will give it a strong 8.5 out of 10. Possibly nine, but I have to make up my mind before, you know, going back on my word. Uh, but yeah, if I had to rate it before uh, ending this video, I think I would give it maybe nine out of ten. I'm not, I'm not even sure. I'll say maybe 8.5 out of ten, 8.5 out of ten, and I'm not... 8.5, 8.5 out of 10, and I'm not rating it as a scary book, uh, but as an enjoyable book. I don't, I don't rate books because I, 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 I don't rate book because I, I, I believe that they're necessarily, that they're necessarily very scary, but because I had fun reading them, right? And, uh, because Stein can do, can do pretty much a lot of 
can go, can, it's not just, uh, it's not, it, he's not just restricted to horror, but he can be, he can give us a good adventure book too. So 8.5 out of 10, 8.5 out of 10 for Legend of the Lost Legend. What about you folks? What do you think about Legend of the Lost Legend? Did you like this book? Did you hate this book? Let me know in the comment section down below. I really can't wait to hear about what you have to say about this book. And uh, I'll see you in the next review for Attack of the Jackal Lens. In the meantime, folks, stay safe. Goodbye. Take care. This whole channel, channel for you with Goosebumps Boy signing off. And now I'm going to be reading the summary. Talk about a horror story. Nobody loves a good story like Justin's dad. He's a famous writer and story collector. That's how Justin and his sister, Marisa, ended up in Bovania. Their dad is searching for an ancient manuscript called The Lost Legend. Justin and Marisa want to help, but instead of, fi but instead of finding The Lost Legend, they get lost. And the woods of Bovania are filled with the strangest creatures, with the strangest creatures. With the strangest creatures, like hundreds of squealing mice, like hundreds of squealing mice, silver colored ducks, and terrifying Vikings from long ago, and terrifying Vikings from long ago.